Julian. I was a good Got girl. Places to be? I'm your best I was guy. determined to finish it and finish it I did. Wow, did you really find them all? Hey, isn't there a page of postscript you haven't found yet? I don't know where it is. I happen to have the postscript here. There you go, take it. Where did you get it from, child? That seems really deus ex machina. I don't like that. Now you've collected the whole book of the adventurous moles. Great job. You did great, miss. I myself wouldn't have the patience to find all these missing pages. You and me both. Where'd you find the postscript? I didn't find it. I've been going on adventures with the moles every day. I don't have time to look for the adventurous moles. The postscript was given to me by Big Susan and Natasha. You happen to be missing it, so I gave it to you. Surely you're not that impatient. Ha! <laughs> Everyone knows that kids are all impatient. Besides, the author writes very slowly. I don't know how long I'll have to wait for the next book. I have a question for you. The more I look forward to something, the longer I have to wait. Is time being slowed down by expectations? Um, yes. <laughs> Expectation does make waiting longer. Then I should look forward to it less. <laughs> that is not the lesson to learn here. Can I even manage to do that, I wonder? Don't you want to read the whole book? I do want to read it, but it's boring if it's just me by myself. I miss, since you've already collected all the pages of the adventurous moles, why don't we bundle them up and give them to a publisher? That way, all the children in Bellabog can read it. Well, I mean, yeah, but the clues are going to be redundant now that I've found all the things. Yet even more errands to run. Miss, you'll definitely hit a payday if you hand the manuscript to a publisher. Go on then. The moles and I can't wait to see the new book getting published. Where even is the publisher? Nika. Where's Nika? Nika is not here. Nika, oh, right, up top, I see. I was thinking down in the underworld, I was like, I don't know of any publishers down here. But nah, that Nika, I've be. spoken to Nika before. I'm your best guide. I've already spoken to you. I know. You want to talk about... T okay, cool. I collected all the adventurous moles. Do you mean the adventurous moles, the book? Can you let me have a look at it first, please? I never thought this would be real. Oh, I didn't read the the ending. I loved reading the adventurous moles when I was a kid, especially the bits about the rainforest and the desert, as if those things really existed. In the real world, there's only snow outside. These actually do exist. There are so many readers who are just like you, believing these writings to be real-life events. But hey, that's the charm of children's stories. I do want to put together and publish the adventurous mole's hidden treasure. I know you're not the author, so I can't pay out any royalties to you, but here's a little something for you. Take it. Ooh, 30 stellar jade. My god, you're generous. And it's done. Yay! I mean, while I'm here looking, are there any side quests I haven't picked up? Can I even get past there? I don't know. Ah, oh, we already looked there. Unless Dunn's contacted me all of a sudden. It's looking pretty clear. And it is clear. Alrighty. Actually... I don't want to trigger that. Let's be very delicate about this. Pom Pom is having an existential crisis here in the corner. Stella. I mean... <laughs> I'll get back to you. Let me just claim these two, please. Thanks. Now, about your existential crisis. Can I be of assistance? What's wrong? Don't come near me. I don't remember messing with you. What's your problem? What you said just now was rather hurtful. That wasn't my intention. I'm very sorry about that. Well, like, fine. You might as well come over. I need your help. Can you give me your hand so that I can hold you up? Hold on. Can you pull me up? My, my legs have gone numb and I can't move. <laughs> just laugh. How about I carry you on my back? Carrie? Forget it. I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> Alas, I can only blame myself for this mess. Stella, please give me a hand. You stretch up both hands to pull pom-pom. It somehow reminds you of the action of pulling carrots. 
With your help, Pompon can finally move their legs. <sighs> Give a helping hand to Pompom, who is experiencing leg numbness. Feeling better? Who would have thought that the legs can go numb when sleeping? Your sleeping posture is too weird. That's not the case. I was too tired, so I dozed off while standing. I don't see how people can do that, in all honesty. Thanks, Dilla. Please promise not to tell anyone about this. Who can I tell? Oh, I'll flip out. Please bear that in mind. Himiko! Himiko! That was the most random ass shit I've ever done. What the heck? Don't you toddle over to me, sir. Oh my god, he's beelining it for me. That was creepy. Are you shitting me? I'm stuck here until I complete the main mission. Fuck you, game. How dare Hello? you force me to do something I'm Hello? not ready for. It's about time we hit the road, passengers. Thanks to the three trailblazers, the activity of the Fragmentum has reached the lowest level, and the readings regarding the status of the Star Rail have returned to normal. Pom Pom will dispatch the Express shortly, and we'll be leaving Yurillo 6. Please be seated and say your goodbyes to this planet. I don't even get a choice. The Shanjo Lufu. Something about a prison. Um, I'm not really emotionally ready for this. Can I go back now? Oh, we immediately see Blade. Hi, Blade. Who's the chick? I've not seen her Yen before. Yen yes, Ching. General. Watch this person carefully. Do you remember me? I remember. Of five people, three must pay a price. <laughs> you are not one of them, Jin Yuan. <laughs> of five people, three must pay a price. I think Dan Hong is one of them. One of them. <laughs> so he wants to kill Dan Hong? Well, that's interesting if you have them both in your party. Hold on. I I'll, I'll be there soon. Though why you'd want two hunt members on your party, I don't know. What did I tell you? He's definitely sleeping in. Nope, he's just having nightmares and uh, terrified that someone's going to come kill him. We trailblazers can go days without sleep. No, but we can't. when we do hit the hay, we have to make up for it. You would literally anyway, die if you no went days without wasting sleep. Our time in the corridor. Uh, so what did he do exactly? The five people were instigated in. The blade is now coming after them. And why is Dunhong guilty but Ding Yuan innocent? The conductor wants us to attend a warp navigation meeting. Same old location, apparently. And we can't be late. Let's head over. Oh, by the way. I want to go back to Yurillo 6. Actually, and the space station. You drew the short straw. It's your turn to wash the coffee cups this week. Why for a week? Can't you do it daily? Do a daily swap? Here, my card. Let's get this torture over with so I can be about my business. Morning. You're very punctual. Yeah, well, I don't have a choice. Uh, it won't let me go anywhere. And a wonderful morning to you, Himiko. Oh, I can't remember the last time I got such a polite response. Yep, polite, that's me. The trailblazing of Eurelo 6 is drawn to a close. Has not, and the Astral wise. Express must depart for the next planet. What's the next planet like? Not telling yet. Oh. We'll make an official announcement in the meeting, but I'm keeping you in suspense for now. The meeting will start soon. I want to leave. Passengers, the Warp Navigation Meeting has officially begun! Firstly, Pom Pom wants to congratulate you, the Nameless, for successfully resolving the problems at this stop. Bitch, I have a the name! The Express is now able to continue along the Star Rail. I know Nameless is the role we take as Trailblazers, but like, I have a name, I am not Nameless. I don't like the term. The three of us actually pulled it off, huh? It's time for your conductor. <clears throat> That's me. You to don't reveal the name say. of our next stop. 
Well, Dun Hong is not going to be happy about this. See Astro Express crew. It's Kafka. I came at a good time. You're all here. Every single one. No need for the mysterious introduction, Stellaron Hunter. <laughs> Himiko, correct? Apologies for interrupting your little get together. Dong Hong isn't even here. I'm sure once you've heard my request, you'll forgive me. I'd like you to make a destination alteration. Interesting. I've seen your face before, Stellaron Hunter. Even if it was only on a corporation wanted poster, they were offering quite the bounty. Dead or alive. Do you know the figure? Interesting. So, for whatever reason, we change course to humor Kafka. Why? Doesn't concern me. Then again. A corporation bounty is a compliment, not an insult, don't you think? The higher the figure, the bigger the compliment. I can follow that logic. You wanted criminals sure know how to look on the bright side of things. I will say, Herta certainly paid you all a compliment. A maniac that claims he can see destiny, leading a bunch of wild lunatics in pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe. And Herta doesn't give out compliments very often. In pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe, huh? Well, in that sense, you astral expressors and I are cut from the same cloth. She makes a good point. You're in the wrong place, Kafka. We're not about to accept your request, and we're not about to get into bed with a Stellaron hunter. It was nice talking with you. Perhaps next time you'll be willing to pay us a visit in person, and we can continue our little discussion. Have you guys heard of... The law foo. The Xianzhou law foo? It belongs to the Hexa fleet of the Xianzhou Alliance. We've heard of it. Hmm. But what you haven't heard is that it's currently very close to you. A couple of warp jumps away, in fact. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the law foo. That doesn't sound very safe. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? But what's she trying to get at? What exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying to do? The Sienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. It's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. My companion, Blade, has been taken away by the Cloud Knights. I want to bring him back, resolve this Stellaron crisis, and clear our names. Nothing to do with you? Yeah, right. Sounds like a weird coincidence to me. You just happened to show up after the Stellaron burst? Did you not pay attention to what she just said? She's showing up because they've been blamed for the Stellaron burst and her companion has been captured and blamed for it. What do you mean she just happens to show up after the Stellaron burst? <laughs> also, we're not your friends. Why should we care if a Stellaron hunter is innocent, hmm? We should seal the Stellaron and help the Shanjo. Maybe we can help sell our friendship to the Stellaron Hunters. We can sell our friend. No, yeah. Is there anything in this for us? We should steal it. It'll put no. us in the good books. Why are we listening to her? The Alliance is strong. Is a single Stellaron burst really too much for them to handle? We're the crew of the Astral Express, not some squad of Stellaron stealing super specialists. Yeah, I'm probably going to disagree because. That's all we've done thus far in the game. You could, of course, not get involved. Knowing that the Stellaron hasn't yet affected this region of space, you could make the jump and arrive at the next world. But sooner or later, the Star Rail here will be more blocked off than it was before. I can tell you what the future holds. If you don't go to the Lawfu, the Stellaron will eventually contaminate the entire ship.
and over half of the inhabitants will perish. So the Shanja Lofu is a ship? Is that what you're telling me? It's not an actual planet, it's just a finite location? Oh, you brave and fearless trailblazers. You benevolent, nameless. Can you really remain indifferent to that? Oh, so if Dun Hung rescues Blade, will Blade still want to kill him? Hmm, interesting. This companion of yours, Blade, he'd perish too, right? No comment. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. <sighs> March. Get Don Hung. Convince Don Hung to vote for your destination. Do I look like March? I am not March. What are you doing here? I don't know. Nobody told me to come here. Hmm. Hmm. I gave him the lowdown. Hey, remember what I said, okay? We're gonna vote against it. I'm not gonna take orders from that woman. I thought I was supposed to convince him. <laughs> Seems like the longer I spend in my room, the stranger things are when I emerge. Ooh. We might be going to the Shanja Lofu. Mm. March told me. If it were one of the other ships, it might have been okay. But I can't go to the Lofu. So you and the Lofu have history. I'm forbidden from setting foot on that ship. Total interception of any attempt to enter the Dominion is how they chose to put it. So they stop you from entering? I thought it was just like a, if I go there, I'm gonna die. But they actually would stop you from entering. So if you're planning on going, I can't go with you. I remember the Xianzhou was a sight to behold. Good luck. That could get interesting. Are you okay, Don Hung? March brought you up to speed, I assume. <clears throat> I'm fine. And yes, I'm up to speed. Good. In that case, with regard to the matter at hand, let's vote to decide our next move. Our Stellaron hunter claims that a Stellaron burst has occurred on the Sienjo La Fu, and that we're in the vicinity. If we head for the La Fu, we may have the chance to save many innocent lives. I, I have noticed that everybody's pronouncing the name very differently. There's there's no one set way that they're pronouncing it. This reminds me of Leo <laughs> Genshin, but no one pronounces it the same. However, it's also possible that our Stellaron hunter is lying and using us for her own ends. Neither Welt nor I believe that she's telling us the truth, but we can't just ignore the intel she's given us. So... We are about to hold a democratic vote on whether to set a course for the Sien Zhou. All those in favor, hold out your hand. All those against, keep your arms by your side. Three, two, one. Four against one. Well, it looks like the Astral Express crew has a majority vote to head for the Sien Zhou. But why did March vote for that? I can understand Himiko and Welt changing their minds and voting for it because they're concerned about if the Celeron burst will indeed have such an effect uh, against them. Like, I get that. But March was very opposed from supporting Kafka. So why did she just vote for that? Didn't you say you were voting against? <sighs> I calmed down and thought about it a bit. If it turns out that woman isn't lying, then a lot of innocent people are going to get hurt. Now's the time for thinking about other people. <laughs> oh, how suddenly principles of you. All right, all right. I think we're all used to March's modus operandi by now. So, Don Hung, you want to stay here? Yes. 
I'm staying this time. In that case, well, Ooh, well. Ready for a trailblazing expedition? I know you've been itching to get out there for a while now, but make sure you take good care of the two I of them. I like this. We're rotating the members. Don't worry. Destination Sienjo, here we come. <laughs> See everyone. <laughs> the train uh. is about to make the jump. Five, four, three, two, one. ship? It looks even bigger than your Relo 6! Is that even possible? How big must it be? That's essentially a planet in and of itself. Holy shit. For the Xianzhou, these ships are their planets. Terrestrial environments are cradles that allow civilizations to survive and then develop. Some of those civilizations progress further. Constructing spacefaring vessels, which allow them to voyage into the unknown. The Xianzhou Alliance is one such civilization. Do they have a home planet? Where I've do they come from? I've a few times, but it's as magnificent as I remember. You okay there? What's with all the lonely nostalgia vibes? <sighs> this is the Astral Express. I repeat, this is the Astral Express. We have arrived in Xianzhou territory. Requesting landing permission from ground control. From the bridge, I mean. Welcome to Lofu Skyport. Starskip Vin. Please await transfer. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Sounds like one of those automated customer service numbers. <sighs> Something's not right. The signal is still repeating, but no one is guiding us into dock. Maybe the Stellaron hunters were telling the truth. It seems like something really did happen to the Sienjo. A vessel arrives at a deserted spaceport. Isn't that how, like, loads of horror movies start? Let's not let our imaginations get the better of us. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Please wait, transfer. Still the automated signal? Yes, it's still on repeat. Ah, there we go. The Jade Gate now opening. On behalf of the Sienjo La Fu. Welcome, guests from afar. Please proceed to dock in accordance with the guidance. Huh? Is this still automated? The signal broke off. Seems that's all there is. We should get going. Imiko, stay vigilant back here on the Express. Relax. I've got Don Hung here with me. You're staying too. I don't want to go. Trailblazers assemble! Make sure you're properly prepared before you set off. Does that finish the quest? Fucking doesn't finish the quest. Before we set off, I need to clarify the aim of this journey with you. The Stellaron Hunters have given us a lot to consider, and a lot to doubt. But the most important part of this expedition is... Sampling the local delicacies, that's a pun response. Getting to know the people with power, the Stellaron. Precisely. The Stellaron Hunters clearly have ulterior motives. However, knowing what they're all about, and given the focus of Kafka's words, I have no doubt that the Sienjo is dealing with a Stellaron. The Alliance and the Express haven't had any previous dealings, so our arrival might not receive the warmest welcome. But as trailblazers, we're not in this for fame or gain. We just need to do everything in our power to assist the Sienjo and eliminate the source of disaster. Always keep that in mind. And don't forget the way of the trailblaze. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. Yeah! Let's go. Oh, 
look. It's just containers as far as the eye can see. This area isn't for receiving guests, it's for unloading cargo. Who decided to send us this way? Such a huge port and not a soul in sight. It gives me the creeps. It is strange. At this point, I think it'd be creepier if we did see someone. Yet someone opened the gate for us. Unless well, that too was automated. Ah, uh, uh, stop talking. If there is someone here, they're in my bad books already. Mr. Yang, what should we do? We should start with the person who opened the Jade Gate. If it turns out they're not friendly, then at least they've already made things easier for us. If it turns out they were just doing their job, then we can ask them what happened here. What if they're not friendly and we can't defeat them? We Are leave? you forgetting we've got Mr. Yang with us? Oh, right. You haven't seen what he can do yet. Oh, I have. He was a child character and he was great. Let's move. Keep your wits about you. Amidst the Mars struck. I wonder what Mar is. But anyway, I can live. Anyway, rewards, redeemable shield. Let's go. Got places to be? I'm your best guide. What have we got to spend? 1080. I think I was just going for gold, wasn't I? Just going one by one, getting all the things. And there we go. Done. Rewards updated for the simulated. Do I really have to do this? I literally just did it and it refreshes. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts a lot. Okay, and that gets rid of that. Wonderful. That's what I wanted to see. Let's make some very pathetic attempts at getting blade. <gasps> no! You stupid, stupid Yan Jing! That totally looks like a guy. Did I mistake you for a female earlier? Whoops. <sighs> that's the second time I've lost a 50-50 in this game. Which means that's two for two now that I've failed. <sighs> Blade, you will forever remain a future that I will never see. Good sir. <sighs> okay. I'm sorry. Are you actually male? I think you're a male. Can you say something? Who hasn't even come of age? Oh, you're just super young. No one can best Yun Ting when he holds a sword in his hand. Okay, you're male. <laughs> Great. Didn't know why you sound like a woman then. Uh, but okay. I don't really agree that you would be the best swordsman if you're not even of age. Well, I kind of like your hair. The hair ornament's pretty. Got a piercing in one ear. Right. <laughs> Ow! You stay still, damn it. Got birds over here. And here. I wonder what significance it has for you. You got bells on a cloud, question mark. Okay. Don't know what this is for, but it does. A bright match. edge that can cut jade. And the stars shift within it. A fine sword indeed. Okay, the more you speak, the less female you sound. I guess we heard like what one or two words from him previously. Uh, yeah. A bright edge that can cut jade. I like and these the bits of your it. garment. A fine oh, sword it a tunic? Would you call it a tunic? Oh, and the pattern continues back here. That's lovely. I don't know about that, but I like that. I kind of like your sash thing as well. Where does that go to? Oh, that goes to the, the medals. 
they can't be medals because you're like not even of age. Um, yeah, I guess overall. Oh, and that's cute. One goes to a tassel and one just goes to a point. Yeah, I, I guess overall I like your design. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and the bells continue on to your wrist. Oh, how about that for continuity? Yeah, you're right. So you're another hunt character. We seem to be suddenly accumulating a lot of hunt characters. And you are ice. ice. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, welcome to the party. I don't envision using you at all, but you never know. The future is a glorious thing. You never know what's going to be around the corner. Got so many of those. Oh my god. Are they even any good? Anyway, that's that. So. Isn't that... Do a silver wolf? I don't know. Um, we've got a daily mission and we've still got two adventure missions. I've been playing this for like two hours and I feel like I have made no progress whatsoever. I've still got a bajillion messages just sitting here. My god. They just keep accumulating. Holy shit. I feel like we're making no forward progress at all. Oh my god. I'm right back where I ended last time. <laughs> 